sure you have a paper and pencil or a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. Today we're going to practice some long division. We're going to use one digit divisors and mostly three digit dividends. I'm going to pull up my notes and set them off to the side. If you have long division notes, please do the same thing. It's very helpful to have the steps near you when you're practicing a skill for the first time, or you're just starting to get the hang of it. So put your notes off to the side and let's get going. Remember that we divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. The first problem I'm going to do today is 358 divided by 2. 358 divided by 2. Now I'll start by writing a multiples list off to the side. Remember that our multiples help us divide because multiplication and division are inverse operations. When we start division, we start on the left. I'm going to start in the hundreds place with the three. I'm going to divide three divided by two. 3 divided by 2 can go in one time. Then I'm going to multiply 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is 2. I'll place that underneath the 3. And then my next step is to subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Then we bring it on down. I'm going to bring down the 5. And that gives us 15. Now we repeat. Let's see how far I can go without going over. 14 is my highest number. That's seven steps. So 15 divided by two is seven, remainder one. Now I'm going to bring down my eight. And we have 18 divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 2 is 18. That means 18 divided by 2 is 9. So my answer is 179. Now I always complete the check step with multiplication to make sure that we have accurately answered the problem. So I'm going to take my quotient which is 179. And I'm going to undo the division by multiplying by 2. 179 multiplied by 2. And I'll complete standard algorithm multiplication. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, and 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 358, and that was our dividend to begin with. So this does check out. 2 times 179 is 358, which means 358 divided by 2 is the opposite. Okay, here comes our second problem. 746 divided by 3. Now we're going to write a multiples list on the side. To help us with our division. 
3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and I'm going to stop at 36. Now I'd like you to pause this video right now. I want you to pause and try this problem by yourself. And then when you're done, unpause it and check your work. Go ahead and try it. Okay, let's see. First, I'm going to divide. I'm going to start in the hundreds place all the way over on the left. And I'm going to look how close I can get to seven without going over two times. Two times three is six. Seven minus six is one. And then bring down the next digit, 14. Going to see how many times I can divide 14 by three. Oh, the highest I could get is four. Four times three is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. And then I'm going to bring down that last digit. That gives us 26. I'm going to repeat my steps. 26 divided by 3. The highest I can get is 24. That's 8 steps. So I'm going to write the 8 up top. 8 times 3 is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. And I can't do 2 divided by 3. We're not going into the decimals place for this video. That means I have a remainder of 2. Now we're going to do a check step to make sure that our answer is accurate. So I'm going to take my quotient. Excuse me, I'm going to Yes, I'm going to take my quotient, 248, and I'm going to multiply it by the divisor, which is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. That gives us 744. Mm, something is not quite right. Ah, we haven't forgotten about our remainder. We had a remainder of two. And so if I take our answer, 744, and I add the remainder or what's left over, that does give us 746, which means our answer checks out. 746 divided by three equals 248. remainder 2. All right, here's our problem 3. We are going to do 891 divided by 7. I'm going to write a multiples list on the side. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Okay, I'd like you to pause the video right now and try this problem, please. Thank you for trying it. That's how your brain grows. Let's go ahead and get started. My first step is to divide eight divided by seven. Oh, I can only go one place. Eight divided by seven. One place, one times seven is seven. Eight minus seven is one. And bring it on down. 19 is our next number. I'm going to see how many steps it takes to get as close to 19 as I can without going over. That would be 2. 
two steps. And two times seven is 14. Now we'll subtract. 19 minus 14 is five. And bring down the last digit, 51. I'm gonna see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, too far, seven. Seven, seven times seven is 49. And 51 minus 49 is two. That means our answer is 127 remainder two. But don't forget, we need to check it out. I'm going to take my quotient, 127, and multiply it by the divisor seven. 127 times seven. And then we'll use standard algorithm multiplication to see if we're right. Seven times seven is 49. Two times seven is 14 plus four more is 18. And one times seven is seven plus one more is eight. 889, but that's not quite the dividend that we had. We need to add our remainder of two and see that it does check out. And yes, it does. That means our answer 127 remainder two is correct. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more final problem. Problem four. Now we're going to do a four digit dividend, 4,569 divided by six. We're gonna stick with a one digit divisor for now. So let's set up the problem. I'm making sure that there's lots of space between my numbers, 4,569 divided by six. Now we're going to write a multiples list on the side that will help us see our division. And now I'd like you to pause the video and try the problem yourself. Okay, four divided by six, zero steps. Four minus zero is four. Bring down our next number. That gives us 45. Let's see how many times we can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, too many. So seven. Just counting to make sure I was accurate there. Seven times six is 42. 45 minus 42 is three. Bring down our next digit, which is six. And then let's see how many steps it takes. Oh, it would be six. And then we're gonna bring down our last digit, which is nine. And I know that there's only one six in nine with three left over. That means 4,569 divided by six is 761 remainder three. 761 remainder three. But I have to complete a check step just to make sure I'm accurate. So let's undo our division with multiplication. I'll take my quotient, 761, seven hundred sixty one, and multiply it by the divisor, which is six. Six times one is six. Six times six is thirty six. 
6 times 7 is 42, plus 3 more gives us 45. Oops, I think the battery ran out on my pen. Hold on a second. There we go, 45. Now that's not quite our dividend because remember we have a remainder. So I need to add that remainder on And now that does give us our dividend, 4,569. Stay tuned for another practice video with double digit divisors.